Uh, we just have a, a really nice day out here today. Um, the sky is really pretty, etc., etc., if you know what I mean. I mean, there's the sun and the clouds. I mean, clouds. But anyway, that is just not what I was going to talk about. Oh, so here we go. Now, everybody knows I wasn't really brought up in a religious environment at all. I was more brought up in a cultural environment. <clears throat> which was every... It, basically, it said love everybody. Unless they do harm unto you, then you've you got a right to dislike them. Now, the couple of things I know from religious doctrine is, here's one of them, and, and maybe I'm misquoting this. Um, I believe it was Jesus Christ said, Love thy neighbor as you love yourself, something like that. My aunt said, if any, I, I guess she, my grandmother was kidnapped and had to go to an Indian school, and they cut her hair off. And then an Irish man who worked with my grandfather, because she was married my my grandmother when she was kidnapped. Um, an Irish guy who was a furrier and a blacksmith with my grandfather in Kentucky. They lived in a very primitive situation. No electricity, no nothing. Um, went and what money they made, he went and bought my grandmother back as a slave. The Irishman did to deliver to my you know her husband he didn't do anything to her um so she could be sold as a slave believe that or not okay anyway um i think the one thing she remembered is just through her probably three or four months stay there while they were raising money to go buy her back was um jesus's words were love thy neighbor as thy, you love thyself and she couldn't really follow along with that very well because they didn't seem to love her very much. She was pretty much abused. So, I'm going to ask this of everybody. Set your differences aside. If you are Christ-like or believe in that um, Bible or religion, if your neighbor is suffering an injustice, I don't think Jesus said unless they're Arabs or uh, Muslims or Buddhists or Native Americans or whatever you can hate them i don't think there was any uh discretion in his words except love thy neighbor if you think that what israel's doing is right they just took some gasoline and force fed it to a young boy who was very weak in statue and um uh, burn him alive by torching him from the inside out And they say, do it to more of the children. It's like their new barbaric pastime. I'm really hurt with seeing this because I think humanity has hit a downfall to complete. Actually, I think humanity has hit the lowest point I've ever seen it. And I've seen some pretty low points here in the United States of America being that I'm a different color, I'm not black, I'm not white, that actually makes people be a little bit more racist. And I'm going to use the word racist because racism is alive and well. Um, I see people dividing on this, and I'm just going to tell you, for if you're a human being, we are all connected. No one's better than the next. And I think um, this Jesus dude said it right. Love thy neighbor as thou, you love thyself. And we all love ourselves and we love our children. I think he was saying respect one another and your cultures and your differences because that's how you learn from one another. Didn't he hang out with the most despicable people on earth? I mean, that's what I was taught the brief time I was in an Indian school. That's what they tried to teach us. Jesus loved us because... Um, we were kind of despicable and the trashiest people on the earth, but Jesus seemed to hang out with that riffraff. So if um, Jesus seemed to like what others think disgusting, then why wouldn't the people who followed him like the disgusting people like me or, or the Palestinians or any children that were being abused? Because I also think he said something that uh, children are purely innocent, and I'm not saying it right, but 
uh, somebody can probably put that biblical passage who knows the Bible. Um, I only was in school maybe six months and and probably three of those months I spent in a mon senior's office and uh, and he quit the Catholic Church because of me because we we had disagreements and then I think he realized beating Christianity into a child and I was a teenager just didn't gonna work and and it didn't work and everything he said was kind of a <laughs> you, you know you, you can turn that around on him and I had very good teachers so um, and he became a very good friend of mine winds blowing I can feel it so it'll probably mess up my microphone I'm just saying that we've hit as as human race right now I mean I mean, preppers are hoarding. I mean, they're consuming. They're doing just what the government would want you to do is to go buy, buy, buy as much food as possible when people should learn to grow, grow, grow and look around what's edible. Um, I mean, so the consumerism goes along with kind of the prepping and I'm, I know I'm kind of blurring things here, but I think it needs to be said. Um, I've always lived a very natural life. Um, it's been a really hard life, and it's it's taught me the experience of a lot of great, great things. Um, I just would like to know if you follow your Christ consciousness, why would you think that genocide is okay for any human being? Um, I'm just curious on that. And I'm not taking a, a side, well I am, I'm taking a side against genocide of any type. Um, using religion to kill people was used against my ancestors. Uh, we were the promised land, the land of milk and honey. And the Puritans said, look, God said, Puritans said this, we can kill them people. Well, I don't think God said any such thing because the Creator created all of us. Now, if the Creator is flawed, then we're flawed. But I don't think that that's the case. I think what's happened is man has potentially thought he was the Creator now. And he's going to create whatever kind of environment and structure control he can do. And everybody's falling for it. That's just how I see it. I think there is one Creator of us all. I am a spiritual person. I don't think he meant for... I think he thought... Well, everybody lives in a different environment, desert people, I live near rainforest, there's all kind of different peoples, ocean people, sea peoples, you know, fishermen, all kind of different people. Um, I just think that, that we were supposed to meet each other and celebrate each other's cultures, not hate one another, and um, that would be what a universal creator who created a living earth that we could all inhabit and put stuff everywhere that we shouldn't be extracting and raping and pillaging but um, should be walking in a harmony and a balance with but instead somehow some strange folks got it in their head that they should control us and make us hate one another the human race we are all one species um, I'm conflicted I think that the Abrahamic religions were a poison because, and maybe Abraham was just plain old insane, who knows? Um, you know, it's, this is just my humble opinion and I'm going to get downgraded on it, but if you have no empathy and no humility, then the system has worked for you very well. It is done. Um, its purpose was try to make everybody apathetic, to make everybody have enemies. And that is the system of man. They needed a divide and conquer so they could control every single thing and it has worked. Or either you love humanity, you respect creation, and until someone harms you, you have no enemies. Every war that's been fought is usually for resources. It's a fact. The United States of America and Canada had great, great abundance of resources. Palestine sits on a major natural gas line. Thank British 
the British people have bought that already, so the Palestinians have got to go. I mean, that's what the war is over, let's face it. Every war has been for the extraction of resources when there's other ways to live. So, I just want to know, have you fell for the man's rule of laws saying we must hate one another? And some of you who say you have, and I only know about the Christianity religion, I really don't know very much about any other religion, and I don't know much about Christianity, except do you love your neighbor as you love yourself? And your neighbor could be Mexico. Your neighbor could be a thousand miles away because we're all connected. So I'm just asking this question, or have you failed for the divide and conquer? Because we are on a knife's edge right now. We're going to either fall or we're going to rise above. Let's hope we rise above.